hog. That's a hog. I got me a hog right here. Hit a night crawl. Oh, it came off. He's through the hook. Well, we know they're out there. Backyard fishing. So we're down here at Lakeside tonight, trying out a new spot. I'm down here with Michael and Dana, and of course we got Kia here. But uh, Michael, not too long ago, just moved into his new home, and it happens to back up on this lake here. So he gave us a call, and the weather seemed like it was going to be pretty good, and said, "You just try to come fishing out behind the house here." And I said, that sounds like a damn good idea. And we're hoping that the deep water here by the dam was holding a nice school of fish over the winter. They should be coming up, coming along the shore here <gasps> to uh, feed. Why not? My bobber just went down and came back up. Oh, I got a little diggy perch. <laughs> oh. here he goes, here he goes. I'm down, I'm down. Michael sound, Michael sound. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed it. Hey, Michael. That's sad. I'm sad for you. Oh, you hit me off. I got that one. I was fishing it a little deeper. He's not much bigger. They're getting a little better. He's almost big enough to keep. Guess what I found. Guess what I found. There they are, buddy. On a bobber, Michael. I just got hit really hard, but I missed him. Hope he left me with my bait. I gotta get it back out there. I think the perch might just be waking up. So what we're doing for starters here is we've got a few baits on the bottom, live bait, worm, a night crawler, and we're casting out as far as we can here with those baits. And when we cast out, we leave the bale on our rod open because when you cast out and the bait drops and hits the water, what's going to happen is if you lock the bale, that line's going to hit the water. Here's the bottom of the lake, and that line, when you collect the bale, the line's going to be tight and it's going to cause the bait to swing in back towards you. If you leave the bait, bale open the, and the slack plays out, that bait will settle flat down. You'll be fishing as deep as possible. Now, if you don't get any hits out that deep, you go ahead and cast out and flip the bail. And then it'll flip in and fish a little shallower. If you still don't get hits, then you can start reeling slowly and reel in a little bit until you find the depth that these fish want to hold that. It's kind of guesswork because we don't have the depth finder, but it works. In addition to that, we've got a few bobbers out too. We're fishing at varying depths, anywhere from 18 inches to 3 feet. And because we know that yellow perch like a bait to be moving, they don't want it sitting still on the bottom, we'll cast those baits out to about as far as we think they are, sitting in the water so that the bait's just above the bottom, and let that bottom let that bobber drift that bait just over the bottom with the wind. I got somebody interested here. Tiny little yellow perch. He just won't take it. Oh, there he is. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's what, that's what we're fishing for. That's what we're getting hit from these little tiny, tiny yellow perch. That's me. Yeah, he's bait all right. I don't know what it is, but... Oh. <laughs> That's a nice bluegill. We, we went ahead and, and weren't doing much on the shallow bank over there, so we came over here around the bend, around the point by the dam where we got a faster drop-off, and I cast it at this night crawler, and uh, got me a nice right bluegill. He'll, he'll be a nice addition to the stringer with Dana's perch. I was freelining this other minnow out here, and just letting him go wherever he wanted to go. And my rod just about went to water there. We got a, a nice two, two and a half pound largemouth on here. If I can get him up over the edge of 
came up the hook. Oh, oh, oh it came up the hook. <laughs> Never try to pull two and a half, three pound largemouth by up by eight pound test and expect him to stay on your line. Nailed another one on the bottom with the night crawler. Another one. Uh, there's got to be some bluegill beds out there. Because these are some nice bluegills. I'll, I'll take a string of these home. A stringer for the frying pan. But these are some big males. There's got to be a bluegill bed out there. And they're just starting to make their beds for the spring. And I'm going to target them. I'm going to target them. Give them a little squeeze. See? They're melting. See that? They're right there on a the bed. And if I can keep hitting that spot. I should be able to get a nice stringer, big bluegills going. I don't think this is, oh, oh, nice bass, nice bass. bass. I'm trying to keep it from jumping again. I'm going to have to Jump go down here on the bank because I'm not going to be able to lift this one up out of the water. He was actually with me. Oh, he jumped again. Oh, he's taking a little drag there. Come here, buddy. Don't jump again. Don't keep your head down. He's a little bigger than last one. Yeah, he had a nice car on the bottom, believe it or not. Wow. Wow. That's a healthy large mouth right there. The season is closed on these, but they are a lot of fun to catch. What, you missed one, Dana? Oh, it's a little bluegill. He swallowed my hook. I think it's just another nice large mouth. I got this one on a free line minnow. Threw that down the point. Yeah, this is bass hatching. Here. Oh, that one's even bigger than the last one. He's getting in that log. Get out of that log. Get out of that log. Oh, I can't control this one on this light tackle. Nice one. They're getting nicer. I got this one on a free line minnow. Just put the minnow out on the hook and let him swim where he wants to go. And I'll tell you what. Bass season is closed, but these are some nice sized fish right here. I mean, they're good quality bass. Just nice two, two and a half pound fish. Nothing to brag about, but I'm bragging about them anyway. I need to tighten my drag. Oh, world. He's like swimming. Oh, look, I found a big bluegill. Tighten my drag. Terrible. <laughs> oh, he's peeing on me. You've got to be joking. Got it. Come here. Oh, he feels like a nice one. There's one of those bigger perch we've been looking for. Oh, there he is. Yeah, we knew they're in here. Oh, don't lose him! He flipped off the hook. I've been having everything flip off the hook today. But, uh, yeah, that's one of the bigger ones we've been looking for. They just, they're not up in here shallow. It's getting dark now, and they're just starting to come up in here shallow. But, uh, we'll have to come back and catch a bunch of these. Here he comes. Oh, oh. Too. Put up a heck of a fight out here. Nice. So the sun is setting on us here, and uh, <laughs> we did all right. We pulled a half dozen bluegill and a couple, a few little perch. What a nice one at, but. Uh, what do you think, Michael? You want to get out here? I got some minnows left. You want to get yeah, out here in the I morning? Mean, traditionally, perch fishing is better in the morning if that's what we're looking for. I'd yeah, I, I, I'd like to get on some of those bigger yellow perch. If we don't do it now, we try tomorrow morning. If not, we'll come yep. back and do a full-length video on fishing for perch later in the year back yep. here. But 
I'm glad we could get up here in your backyard. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Pretty a sweet. 10 minute hike down from your house. Lots of big so, bass down here. I have a feeling you might be some, seeing some more videos coming from this point here. But all right, let's get back on it in the morning, see what we can catch. I know you got things to do tomorrow yep. in the afternoon. So we get a couple more hours on tomorrow morning and see what we catch and maybe put a few more fish on a stringer to finish at this uh, this meal of fish we got going on. I think we got Sounds a nice good. little one already, but I wouldn't mind a few more. So, uh, yeah, stick around. We'll be back at first light. Good morning. We are back up here at the lake again. This is where we were fishing last night, and we're going to see if we can't catch a few more perch. Uh, we picked the shallower area over here on this flat where we were catching a small perch last night because while perch are usually bottom feeders we have found over the years that as it gets light in the morning for the first hour of the day or so we found that the perch will come up and feed on insects on the surface uh, now as the sun gets up and wears the day wears on those perch go down and they'll go deep into grass beds and stuff and stay down there and you got to fish for them a little deeper Let's see who's out there in the deep water. Bluegill. Nice bluegill. You want them? All right, yeah, if you're catching bluegills like that, let's get a stringer going. Oh, there he is. I got him. Yep, yeah, yeah, he's a little one. Definitely too small to keep. All I'm catching over there is dinky bluegill. The little dinky ones. Yeah, Michael, I'm, I'm seeing surface action over there off that point where I was catching those uh, perch that were a little bigger. Last night, we may want to go over because... Oh, there I go. There I go. I'm down. I got him. Oh. Yep. It's the baby one again. That's another one. Yeah, if, if we keep catching these little dinky suckers up here on this flat again, we may want to move over there because I'm seeing surface action. That's why I was catching the bigger perch last night. Much better perch. Look at that perch. Yeah, boy. Nice perch. He was in close, too, right under the bobber. All right, I picked one up on a free line minnow here. What I got here? Oh, yeah. That's a stringer perch right there. How about that? I was free in a minnow. It was too hard to do it over on the other side, but over here in this wind, it's okay. But uh, yeah, okay, we we found a few perch. That was a nice one you just got, Michael. Oh man, this is this is ridiculous. Look look down here, look down here. I got I'm tripping on this mess. Look at look at look at this. Somebody was down here fishing, and they must have got a snag or something. And this line's just all down through the brush here, and I'm tripping on it. My lines are getting caught in it. I mean, that's just nasty. It just kills wildlife. It's not only annoying other fishermen and trashy, but it kills wildlife. Don't be this guy. I'm going to pick this up and take it out of here with me. But if you got line that gets wrapped around something, you need to strip line. Don't just leave it laying on the back. Take your trash out of the lake with you. He's there. I got him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I found those glue bluegill beds. Look at that. Another nice bluegill. I don't know if this fish knows his hook. Oh my god, what are you doing all the way out there? What are you doing all the way out there? He's swimming. He's, it's a nice one. Whatever it is, this is a good fish. I thought I was snagged and then it started swimming to the, to the left. I don't know what I got here. A big perch! Whoa. Big perch! Big! Look at the size of this yellow perch! Oh my goodness! That's what we're looking for! I thought I was snagged and I pulled the rod and I jerked it a couple times trying to get it off the snag and the thing started swimming to the left. I was like, oh yeah, I got a good fish on here. That's a serious yellow right there. <laughs> That's almost a million. I bet he's 12 inches. I think we found a few. 
Well, Michael, we did all right this morning. We did, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice little stringer fish right there. Yep, a meal or two for sure. Yeah, and uh, this big one here that I caught, he measured out at 13 inches, which is a really nice, nice fish on any body of water you're yeah. fishing. Nice yellow perch. But uh, I don't think this is the spot we're looking for. No, we're hoping to do a little bit better than that. <laughs> yeah. I, I want a lot of the fish in here were small. Yep. Uh, and we want a spot where we can reliably fill a stringer with like 10, 12 inch fish. Yep. Nice perch for the freezer. So we've got a lot of fish to freeze up for the winter. But I like this spot behind your house here. Yeah, that's we've got, nice. Got a lot of nice bass back here yeah. too. Some real quality bass. Maybe when yep. bass season opens, we'll come back and. I know your mom would enjoy catching a stringer yeah, those back. Yeah, <laughs> that sure. sounds like fun. Take them home for dinner too. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we got a lot of places to explore out here. Mm -hmm. Across the lake here, easy walking distance. Uh, yeah. So I have a feeling you'll be seeing a few more videos from that here behind Michael's house. But as far as our search for perch, that's going to continue. I don't think this is a spot. And so y'all keep your eyes on www.camotrepproduction.com, sharing the outdoors on YouTube for more videos in our search for perks this summer. We'll see you again soon. Click on our logo to subscribe and use the notification bell so you don't miss future episodes of The Search for Perch.